we are having super bearish indications on Ethereum on higher time frames. Be careful. In this video, you will find out what is Ethereum going to do next. Welcome to Daily Crypto Technical Analysis. We are going to do Daily Ethereum price prediction for intraday trading using different indicators and price action. But before we start, smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 69 likes on this video. Make sure it turns blue. It will only take you one second. On a weekly time frame, Ethereum is forming some very, very concerning and bearish indications. If we apply right now MACD indicator to our chart, you are going to see that potential bearish divergence is going to be confirmed in one day and 14 hours. Of course, this is then going to be extremely bearish indication on Ethereum, but this bearish divergence is not alone. We are also developing some more bearish divergences on another indicator that I'm going to show you in a moment, but you can see that Ethereum made a higher high on the price action and on MACD we are developing a lower high. And in one day and 14 hours, if this is going to confirm with this light green color, this is then going to be a confirmed bearish divergence, which of course is going to be a very bearish indication for Ethereum. Ethereum sometimes could be developing earlier indications what is also going to happen with Bitcoin. So that means that maybe in the upcoming weeks or in the upcoming days, Ethereum and Bitcoin could see a very huge correction. Also, if we apply money flow to our chart, you're going to see that on a weekly time frame, also a potential bearish divergence could be forming right here. On the money flow, this bearish divergence at the moment, it's still not confirmed and it's most probably also not going to be confirmed in one day and 14 hours. But you can still see on the Ethereum price action, we made a higher high on the weekly time frame and on the money flow, we made a lower high potential bearish divergence could be happening on a very high time frame on Ethereum. Sometimes this could be also the earlier indication what is going to happen on Bitcoin. But right now I'm going to show you some more bullish indications why Ethereum could in the upcoming days pull to the upside and then see a pretty big correction. So if we right now look at the price action on the four hourly time frame on Ethereum, you are going to see that Ethereum formed a higher low, which of course it's nice and bullish, but we still have not formed a higher high. That means that right now that we could be forming a potential symmetrical triangle uh, if this is of course going to be a lower high. So if we go with the trend lines, you are going to see that Ethereum could be forming a potential symmetrical triangle. I am going to tell you exactly what would be my targets because we can look at the targets with the symmetrical triangle and also with one more pattern that I'm going to show you and also I'm going to tell you exactly where I would be looking to take a long and a short position on Ethereum. On the 4 hourly time frame, you can see that here on Ethereum, we are also developing a very nice support level, pretty much exactly the same as on Bitcoin. We have this nice diagonal support level with uh, confirming us with this previous dump that happened on Ethereum and also with this previous low and also with this low. So you can see that this trend line on Ethereum is a very important one. And also right now you can see that it looks like uh, we bounce off of this trend line and with this very nice bullish engulfing pattern on the four hourly time frame. But you can also see that Ethereum is still making lower highs. That means that a potential bull flag could be forming right now on Ethereum. If we go right now with the trend line, you're going to see that a bullish pattern is forming. We are having the symmetrical triangle, potential symmetrical triangle in this bull flag. And you, you can also see this bullish pattern right now forming. I'm going to show you exactly where would be my target for this bull flag in a moment. But before we do that, let me just show you the waves that, that are happening in this bull flag. We have this pull of this bull flag. We had a pull to the upside. We have a retest of the lower support trend line on the bull flag. We had another retest. We have another retest, another pull to the upside, another pull to the downside. And of course, usually the bull flag breaks to the upside on the fourth try of the retest of the upper trend line. So you can see right now that if Ethereum is going to pull to the upside once again, the bull flag is going to be confirmed. And I am going to show you exactly what would be my target for bull flag. If of course, right now we are going to pull once again to the upside in the upcoming hours on Ethereum. But 
You can also see that if we apply Fibonacci levels on our chart, you're going to see multiple indications right there. You can see that Ethereum previously got rejected exactly at 0.382 Fibonacci level. And also you can see right now that we are having this upper trend line from the bull flag. And what you can also see that we are having the resistance level on Ethereum at around 572 or 573 US dollars. That would mean that if Ethereum right now is going to pull to the upside, break through the resistance level, break through 0.382 Fibonacci level, and also break the trend line right here, that would confirm us that we are going to be very, very bullish on Ethereum. That would also confirm us that a double bottom pattern is going to be confirmed because you can see that this 0.382 Fibonacci level on Ethereum is pretty much acting as our neckline of the double bottom pattern. So, if the double bottom pattern is going to get confirmed and also if a bull flag is going to be confirmed and also if we are going to break through the resistance and 0.382 Fibonacci level, of course, this is going to be a very bullish indication on Ethereum. Another bullish indication is happening if we look at the Elliott wave structure, because you can say that this is right now the first impulsive wave, this is right now just the corrective wave on Ethereum, and then of course we can expect continuation to the upside with the second impulsive Elliott wave. And if we measure right now the target, how far this second impulsive Elliott wave could go to the upside, you are going to see that the target for the second impulsive Elliott wave is around 736 US dollars here on Ethereum. Of course, if we are going to right now once again pull to the upside. And also, if we measure the target for the bull flag and we put the trend line at a breakout, let's see, around there, you are going to see that the target for the bull flag would be 1.272 Fibonacci level. So if right now Ethereum is going to break the bull flag to the upside, I am going to take some profits at around 1.272 Fibonacci level because then this is going to be the target of the bull flag. But as I showed you before, the second impulsive Elliott wave should reach around 1.618 Fibonacci level, which is at around 736 US dollars. I am going to show you exactly where I would be looking to take a long position on Ethereum and also a short position right now if we are going to continue our way to the downside on Ethereum. I'm also going to tell you some more targets that we need to pay attention to because as I showed you before, we also need to pay attention to the symmetrical triangle, potential symmetrical triangle forming, and also the target for the double bottom pattern being formed on the Ethereum price action. If we right now apply exponential moving averages to our chart, you're going to see that exactly the same as on Bitcoin, they are acting as our resistance level. If we go on the four hourly time frame, three hourly time frame, two hourly time frame, and also on the hourly time frame, all of the exponential moving averages at the moment are acting as our resistance level, which could mean we can get rejected, of course, right here and continue our way to the downside on Ethereum. Another bearish indication is on the Adler Stochastic CG oscillator on the two hourly time frame, because here we are also forming a double top pattern, which of course is a bearish pattern uh, and also combining with the exponential moving averages. This is indicating us that maybe we could be forming a lower high, a trendline resistance. And then of course, like I showed you before, a potential symmetrical triangle forming on the Ethereum price. Another bearish indication right now on Ethereum is that we are having potential bearish divergence forming on the MACD indicator with this higher high, but on the price action, of course, we made a lower high. And also on the three hourly time frame, a potential bearish divergence could be forming here on the MACD indicator. But we can also see another bullish indication forming on the RSI indicator, because here on a daily time frame, you can see that we are forming a bullish wedge. You can see that RSI is making lower highs, but also we are forming lower lows. And that means that right now we could be seeing a bullish wedge forming on the RSI indicator. If you watch my videos and also if you are watching my live streams, you know that you can look at the RSI also as being as the price action. And you can see that right now, if this is right now the pattern that we are developing, of course, this is a bullish pattern. And then we have, of course, a higher probability once again on Ethereum of pulling to the upside. Also on a daily time frame, you can see that a potential bullish divergence could be forming here on a daily time frame on the Ethereum and also on the money flow indicator on a daily time frame, a potential bullish divergence could be forming. Like I showed you before, yes, we do have potential bearish divergences on a weekly time frame forming on Ethereum. 
but right now we are also having bullish divergences on a daily time frame. What would that mean? I would say right now, because we have so many bullish indications, I would still say we are going to go a little bit more to the upside and then we are going to see a pretty big correction because of so many bearish divergences forming on a weekly time frame, which is a very high time frame. Before I'm going to tell you exactly where I would be looking to take a long and a short position on Ethereum, if you are not already leverage trading Bitcoin and Ethereum, on Bybit Leverage Trading Exchange, I have below the like button links where you can sign up on Bybit and get up to $90 for free in trading bonus so you can start trading completely for free on Bybit Leverage Trading Exchange. So I would be interested into entering a short position on Ethereum when we are going to break this support level right here. What would that mean? That would mean that also we are going to see a break out of this symmetrical triangle that Ethereum is potentially forming. And then of course, I'm not going to enter a short position when we are going to break this trend right here. I would much rather enter a short position if we are going to break through the support level and then my target would be around 491 and 92 US dollars. So this would be my target, of course, if we are going to break to the downside. Of course, if you want, if you feel a little bit more risky, you can also enter a short short position on Ethereum at a break out of this trend line right here, which would be around 543 US dollars. But you would be much safer if you wait for this support level to be broken and then just ride the wave to the downside. So the target for the symmetrical triangle is around, let me just show you, is around pretty much the previous support level at around 500 US dollars, or let's just say around 494 US dollars would be the target for Ethereum because you can see that this is our next support level right here. So if the symmetrical triangle is going to get broken to the downside and if their support level is going to get broken here, I, this would be my target at around 493 US dollars right now on Ethereum. But if we right now maybe going to continue our way to the upside on Ethereum, I would not be looking to take a short position on Ethereum right here. Why? Because if you look at the bull flag on the fourth three test of the upper trend line, we have a higher probability of breaking to the upside. So I'm not going to enter a short position if we are going to retest the trend line up here. I would much rather enter than a long position on Ethereum if we are going to see a break through the resistance level and through this diagonal resistance level right here, bullish retest, and then I am in a long position on Ethereum. Like I showed you before, the targets for the Elliott wave, of course, is very, very high, more than 700 US dollars. But you need to also pay attention for the double bottom patterns target, because if we move the trend line somewhere around there, you are going to see that the target would be around 622 US dollars, which is pretty much the previous high that was formed here on Ethereum. So long position if we break through the resistance levels, short position if we break through the support levels. I mean, you can also go with a short position if we are going to go to this resistance level right here. If we are going to see some strong indications of rejection, and then of course, you can ride the wave back to this trend line or back to this support level right here. Entering a short position right here would be riskier because on the fourth three test of the upper trend line with the bear, uh, with the bull flag, of course, we have the highest probability of breaking to the upside. So of course, you can still go with a short position stop loss above the trend line right here and above the resistance level and then ride the way back down to this trend line where you can take some profits right here and also some profits uh, at around 527 US dollars where is our next support level here on Ethereum if you haven't already smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 69 likes on this video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel because I am uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions and technical analysis videos. If you haven't already also check out Bitcoin technical analysis and price prediction video which is already uploaded on my channel. Thank you for watching and peace out.